Hi Legends! Hi Legends! My name is Alessandro. I'm Marta. And we're running this channel together. It's a channel about League of Kingdoms. It's a blockchain uh, related game and uh, it follows a play to earn st um, structure. So, how to get actually started? So, you go to legokingdoms.com, you will see this page. Then you click on Game Start and it will bring you to this page. Now, among the different options, Today we are going through email, which is kind of the simplest, then you create new. So, we just created an email for that. And wow, what are they done? See? No problem. Then you will need to confirm it. Then so now we try it again. Accept, accept. Thank you very much. Like, basically, all the websites in this world. Now you need to choose your name. Ah, ah, <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, okay, so this is the year of chaos, oh my god, and now you're going to go on a very quick tutorial, then, yeah, in here you are clearly screwed, and then Elysia will just drive you through the first steps, it's just a quick tutorial, you know, it just make you familiarize, but does not really explain you the whole thing as it could be explained. You can watch it or skip it. Yeah, yeah, sure. I think it's time to skip it. I just like all the dragons, you know, that's the thing. <laughs> but anyway, let's do it. Okay, this one is your castle. And now, basically, you need to start creating some stuff. In here, it will make you create a farm which gets you food. Then... Elisa will help you go with. through. Barrack. <laughs> wow, Elise, the psychologist. <laughs> allora, <laughs> now you build the barrack, then yes, you will be crushed. So at some point you might need, be needed, but that's not today, don't worry. Just claim your rewards. You have seven days since uh, you get in, that unless you attack somebody, then it will not be a problem, you will not be attacked, actually. So, yeah, it's actually pretty nice. In the beginning, you need to follow the whole, the whole process, you know, like it's just pretty straightforward. Now it's three seconds, it can go up to more than 100 days, frankly. Mm -hmm. Then, in here, okay. And yeah, we're just going a bit quick because it's not particularly relevant. Uh, lumber camp, done. This one gives you the lumber. Then, what's next? Quarry. This one gives you the stone. Does not get you stone, though. <laughs> no way. No. Then, done. Basically, in the first part of the game, <clears throat> the best way you can play it is to simply keep following the tutorial until you can do whatever you want. And then you actually do whatever you want. I think that from here you can do whatever you want. After you will just make it automatically, believe me. No, you cannot sell? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All of Allianz. This one, it's, uh, we're probably going to make a full video about this all of Allianz and how to upgrade it and why it's important and stuff like this. But that's related to rallies and Allianz in general. And then, well, I guess, yeah, let's recruit them, yes, why not? Would you like to join our Allianz and play together? Yeah, in the beginning, yes, you can join whatever Allianz gets offered to you. Alliances are important, uh, we are actually running a pretty decent one. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, um, and try changing your profile image. Here you can change your profile image. And uh, you can also add your own pictures. <laughs> Die, let's put this one. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, Okay, so now you you should be free. Yo, wow, yeah. Okay, so now we part. Um, we start explaining exactly what this is all about. So, okay, here you have the profile. Profile explains you a little bit what's uh, your name. Okay, you can change it. Then it will cost you a little bit of crystals. We're going to go through it a little bit later in the game, uh, in the video. Then power. This one needs your overall power, it's a simple explanation of uh, what you are actually worth between construction, research and troops. Kills, it's um, how much blood you inflicted on enemies. I actually like to raise this number. And yeah, I do. 
than the aliens we are in and now we are in chaos 2000 continent 56 we have 56 continents that play on the same map can you believe that victor's medal this one is about the shrines then when you will get some uh, like yeah then you will be already quite ahead in the game i guess like we have a couple of shrines now lord level this one uh, gives you mastery points we're gonna go, go through that after and you get it basically by slaughtering monsters so non players action point this one is what you need to slaughter monsters then you will be having like history explains you your total power is the sum of true power research power building power victory defeated how many times you won and lost against castors how many kills you did and what it cost you in your deaths and how much you've been gathering resources around the map okay. so the troop limit can actually help and this one is the one that you actually have now the troop power is that how much they are worth actually and dispatch queue is how many simultaneous um, troops you can send in different location to different gathering castors whatever it is the capacity of the marching troop this one explains that if you're making rallies this is the maximum amount of troops that can join your rally regularly hospital capacity uh, we're going to probably do a chapter about the hospital and that's like wow fighter and so that's like 7200 um, can be recovered so in case we get slaughtered right here right now then uh, that means that 2800 troops of ours will die for sure then some others will probably die and whatever is left is probably going to go in the hospital if we get crushed if we don't get crushed and we kind of win actually then there will be some leftover troops so gives you a little bit like you can delete troops or something and this one are the ones that are hanging around <laughs> then mastery this one we're going to make a full chapter of it anyway just this is big it's very very important to figure out so just like go through the map and see what you would really like to, to get yeah, yeah we are definitely making a chapter at least of mastery and then what else we have like treasure this one is basically the treasure house you can on this one we are going to make a chapter as well because the treasure in the beginning doesn't really matter but in advanced part of the game that's all you really need actually and then there is chest chest gives you free chest every day depending on the level you upgrade it on so this one you know we just get it for free every day don't forget to open it claim it then ranking this one simply shows who is the strongest around blah 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 a lot of different stats then nft this one from level 20 it will be important you will need to connect a wallet we just created this email and this account so we are going to grow go to this in another chapter this 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 is big this is how you make the money and that's how you also spend the money and that's account you can log out you can delete the account uh, that's your beautiful email you know i just find it funny uh, here you can check the different settings so here are vip points don't forget to log in every day because you're claiming the vip points to get the highest level uh, you are getting vip boosts and some login bonuses here you can see resources some food wood stone and gold they're helping you to upgrade in the buildings, producing troops, and making research researches. This section is quite important because it's about to become a cryptocurrency in update in February. And these are crystals. It's uh, the valuable resource that you can use to upgrade instantly uh, or produce resources instantly you can do whatever you want instantly you can buy anything you desire um, of course as quick as you want then this is going to be part of a major upgrade of the drago now you can you could already buy dragos now you can just get them resold uh, i had the luck to buy five and gift uh, uh, marta one then this part uh, is uh, the in-game shop so if you desire to buy something for cash uh, then yeah you can then 
This part is a buff, li uh, buff skill list. It's quite an advanced tactic. It gives you different boost depending on the treasury that you keep. And yeah, you don't need to really worry about it in the very beginning because it's quite an advanced technique. In the left corner we have chat. We have like word chat of continent 56 or our alliance chat, which is in the moment empty. Here you can also um, see what the other players from the continent are sharing. You can also translate the message if you don't understand it, it and it translating it in English. It might be that the translation is with the, uh, with the language that you chose for your account. Um, it can be that too. This we didn't double check yet. Please let us know in the comment if you know that for sure. Then another part is the quest. This one are the main quest. They stay and you can retrieve them like whenever you actually reach the point. And daily quest, it's what you can claim daily as resources. And in the end, if you complete them all, in here you get some. Uh, you can get some VIP points and some crystal, which are always welcome. welcome. <laughs> yes. So you get points, and these are the points that you need to reach to get the different chests. You need 100 points a day. That means that you need to basically complete them all. Then in event, this one are time-based event. This one is when you just get started. So try to log in uh, like consistently every day since you get started because you are getting very big bonuses and you cannot really make it if you don't so really try to get it and and then you have other that are time based they last for UTC time which is the in-game time it's London time essentially and they go from midnight till midnight and then you have like other one like kill golems whatever and sometimes they also can achieve you like legendary pieces for the treasury or they can also award you um, crystals so yeah it's quite useful to actually get there this one is the only event of the section that stays forever and until you claim it and even after you finish claiming it and that's quite a long run you need to do consecutive login time for at least 100 days in a row to get the biggest of the achievements and then you need to of course bring the castle to level 30 which at the moment in game is the maximum cvc is going to be a complete other section don't worry about it um, in the initial phases of the game and closed event is in case you forgot to claim something that you achieved then uh, um, you can claim it so now we are going to inventory in inventory section we have like resources as I told you before, they are helping to upgrade the buildings, produce troops or research. Boost, so you can get some other boosts as um, we are having speed ups. In the other section, you have some teleports as an advanced alliance or intercontinental. Blue. But you need to have the kingdom under level 10. So if you wish to join our academy for example in continent 18 uh, just uh, be reminded that you need to be level 10 or lower some alliance badges they are very important by upgrading your alliance you can also simply change your name now we are passing uh, okay now we are passing to the alliance section in here there are all the information that you want uh, about the alliance uh, and its members uh, like uh, whether it's where you are which are the different ranking if a, a different ranking have different <coughs> different responsibilities leader has got this rank 4 has got a good number of the same um, features rank 3 2 and 1 uh, it's uh, it's more of a way to split them uh, in our alliance we keep uh, 25 million or below, 25 to 50 million, 50 million plus uh, and promotion only. 
uh, then manage this one is the alliance list in case you're thinking about changing list a uh, changing alliance and moving around this one you can simply see like uh, who is the best at the moment in uh, in this alliance in that alliance uh, ranking uh, this one is just to rank the different uh, powers uh, among uh, your alliance so this is simply a chart this is not that important it's just to know where you are at more or less and setting uh, this one uh, you cannot really change very much because it regards a change in the alliance uh, therefore you need to be a leader and then uh, on battle here you can see who is making rally you can join the rally um, what is going on in kingdom alliance continent and who is scouting on you okay then shrine uh, it's something that you can achieve uh, in game uh, as an alliance like we have two and this one uh, gives you the location and explains you which kind of bonuses do you get because you are actually having the possession of that shrine shrine events are every two day uh, every two weeks and building as you can see our alliance center is in construction it needs still like 20 hours um, the other buildings are alliance tower or uh, alliance outpost as soon as you're gonna reach the alliance center done technology it's uh, the alliance version of the research so it's like a research that you make as an alliance, of course, there are a lot of points to, to reach it. It can go to 200,000, 250,000 easy. You have it for battle reproduction. So the strategy, whether you are a farming alliance or a main alliance, then you will want to either go for battle or production. Now, in the gift section, you can see like normal gifts or special gifts. Special gifts you are receiving when somebody is buying packages and the normal gift depending on the dragon's level you're receiving uh, some extra bonuses and help raising the level of the alliance which is cool help it's uh, basically giving an end for receiving an end so basically you are helping people when uh, they start building something it's automatic so you don't worry about it and if you click help they get a speed up uh, in time for free just because they are in, in an alliance so the bigger the better and uh, this gives you rewards points which you can use toward uh, the shop of the alliance here you can purchase some goodies as uh, some boost governance it's uh, where the leader uh, can create polls to ask something to the rest of the members in a quick efficient way uh, you can see the result of it only after you actually vote it, otherwise uh, you are not able to see it. Policy, it's due to come, so it's coming soon, but um, yeah, nothing has been explained yet about it. Distribution, this one is uh, connected to the shrine, so when you possess shrine then you get medals that the leader can distribute. Here we have uh, messages, so like personal, you can receive either from alliance leader or from other people the reports you're receiving like gathering reports or when you kill the monster alliance message if you get invited from the other alliances system if you claim some rewards from events like if you liked for example your personal or report message and send what you just send it to other people now this part it's uh, the kingdom so it's whatever it's inside the kingdom and this part you cannot really change uh, whether instead this one you can design the way you want you can keep upgrading what you want you can eventually also go on and uh, instead of upgrading you can also demolish buildings and this is a part that is customizable and castle level will increase the slots available and 5, 10 and 15 so this is pretty straightforward the this part uh, it's the academy the academy um, gives you a couple of uh, research bonuses like a lot and it takes forever so start and keep it running as much as possible and um, each info will explain you a little bit better which kind of bonus do you get by 
each individual building upgrade so the more the level the more the power the more the strength this part instead is the field in the field you can decide whether you want to bookmark like or enemy let's put it as enemy why not this is part of the rally section so it's something uh, academy rela um, alliance related this one it's about farming so you can simply send some troops to farm and to gather some resources for you this will explain you the troop dispatch queue so how many simultaneous uh, units uh, you can send in different location this is the load that they can stand at so how much you can farm before they need to come back because yeah they have the full the pockets full and this is a monster so if you attack a monster it will cost you action points and yeah it's going to take you 10 seconds and that's it if you take it down something beautiful will happen and it gives you a charm if you get the charm we are going to do in a moment then you can even send one single unit and it's going to be okay it's like it doesn't have any power it's just about who gets there first so once you get it you will get some extra boost over here lasting a limited amount of time so for the normal one is not particularly high as a boost i don't know why it's not showing it's probably got activated and yeah that's pretty much the, the parts of the map then this will show you like the start and for what in here you can see them a little bit more polished this one are your location and this one is your continent this is a unique uh, identification that you can have and you can change it using portals that's in case you want to buy lens like more content about it coming up soon and uh, this is how you can actually see the map through and then you can also apply different filters so where are the shrine and who do they belong to now this one is a new continent so nobody actually own anything okay yeah. and now instead we are going for land this one shows you like who bought and who didn't uh, each lens so you can also actually see the id of the people like the owner you can check the address too and you can try to buy them and this one is the level so where the level is very high the monsters are very high there are probably crystal mines and when instead you are going on a, on a part of the map that is not very high this one is a level one it's of course all level one maximum two and yeah it's not that you are going to grow that fast in this way okay this is the continent where you are on and the continent list is this one um, we are continent 18 we are part of unity family actually and yes this you can change you can tour the map oh let's find each other and let's find ourselves can we find ourselves by memory are we we are we are these ones no 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 we are these ones uh -huh. ecco that's me that's me <laughs> exactly okay that's so. us yeah that's something else so yeah so this is our alliance okay this is everything uh, that we wanted to explain you okay, okay legends this is all uh, to how to get started in league of kingdoms more to come if you like this video, just put a like or follow us. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.